We are in Accra, Ghana. We are in Nairobi, Kenya. We are at Adagbo Community uh, in Agatu local government area of Benue State. I'm here with the Galadima of Gandoma, which is a predominantly Fulani community here in southern Kaduna. We are at the IDP camp in area 1, Abuja, Durumi. Your Royal Majesty, Elders, Executive Governor of Abia State, Okeze Biazu, Senator George Akume, Governor Idris Boda, Honorable Minister of Health, Honorable Minister of Transportation, Senator Matthew Rohide, Honorable Dakuku Pizisai, Honorable Tony Wolu, Honorable Soda Bo, that's just Tony. The Osasu Show, Bridging the Gap. Hello everyone and welcome to today's episode of The Osasu Show. The Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, recently set dates for the presidential, gubernatorial and national assembly elections. February 16th and March 2nd, 2019 are those dates. The Osasu Show went to the streets to ask everyday Nigerians their thoughts and expectations of these elections. Take a look. My name is Abdullah Idris. For the candidate for the next election in 2019, I don't have a person in particular, but I want someone who will have the country at large, the interest of all, and to be able to carry the generality of all Nigerians and stand for the interest of everybody. I will nominate, I will nominate a young person to be the president, so long as that person has the capability that is required to run that office and as well as administer equality. Well, for me, the present administration has been doing a lot. All that is needed to be done is to ensure all that has been put on paper is put to play, to ensure that everyone feels the impact of the government and the administration in general. I don't have a problem with a woman running for presidency so long as she has the temperament and all requisite requirements to run for that office of being a president. For me, I'm not a politician. Whichever party emerges winner or brings out the candidates, I'm sure Nigerians will vote for who will stand for us all. I'm Mrs. Florence Mugweje. I would love to see a candidate that uh, is educated. You and I know that within the few weeks that our president was away, that so much was being achieved by Professor Sivanjo. That's to show you that we need somebody who's educated, somebody who's articulate, somebody who can love people, somebody who has the love of people in his heart, somebody who knows that Nigerians are yearning to just eat food, not someone who wants to victimize people, not someone who wants to be wicked, not someone who wants to be high-minded, no. But for this period, things are very high, you and I know. The government is not doing much at all. Age is in the mind anyway. Someone can be 40 years and is mature, and someone can be 60 years and is yes, yet not mature. So I think I prefer someone who is matured physically and matured, you know, in spirit and in mind. Nigeria is already right for a woman to run. What about in Britain, in Great Britain? Was a woman, Margaret Thatcher, was she not there? So what a man can do, a woman can do equally good. A woman is, is fit to run. If I'm asked to choose what political party that I would love to, I would love to, to see in 2019, I think there's none of them yet. Maybe there should be a new party that should be formed. Why? Because I want to see leaders that are not thieves. Leaders that are not going there to loot the treasure. Leaders that will be there to do good for us. Not leaders that will go there and loot the treasure and do whatever they want to do. No. 
leaders that want to help the masses. The masses are suffering terribly. I'm looking for a candidate that has the interest of the nation at heart. Somebody who can decide to take us to just like the development, uh, developed country, you know. Somebody who has vision for Nigeria. Somebody who will be able to plan and take us to the next level. Not recycling things, you know, we are like in the same set of place now. But if we have in 2019, we are expecting new people, new blood into the system. Because the set of people we have now, they are like recycling. And that's why the nation is not moving forward. Mm. So we need vibrant people like Mandela. That, you know, he has, he came and he did stay long. But at least South Africa is no more the same. Mm? We need somebody who has the interest of this nation at heart. The person that is not concerned about his family, is not concerned about what his uh, tribal person will get and what his uh, own state will have. But somebody who can remove tribalism. Hmm? The situation is very critical because the suffering in the land is so much that uh, this is not what they expect. When they say they were looking for change, this is not what we expect. Hmm? I mean, I have opportunity to start traveling. Huh? The rate of the more dollars and every other things has turned the whole nation upside down. That things are very difficult for people now. Nah. Western and Nana, our president is always out of the hospital. From when is a young person that has good health? No, when I mean young person, let's say between the age of forty upward, hmm? is still vibrant. He seems very strong. Hmm? He seems very strong. But somebody that is uh, 70 and above now, eh? the person is always with age. He's having one helmet or the other. But if he's a young person, it's not that a young person cannot have a, 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 any sickness. But if he's, an, if he's a young person, he's always, you know, Aja to be able to do the work. You know, the work of Nigeria is not uh, uh, just this thing. It's 180 million people we are talking about. So we need a young person to take over the aim of affairs. Women in uh, most of the places now that they are, they are not managing the thing well. A lot of the people now we have now, a lot of them we have farm sex that are women, but they are all not managing the, the ministries well. So I would prefer, prefer a man, a man that, we say a man that still have Nigeria at heart, not just any man. You know, but somebody that thinks about Nigeria, what Nigeria will remember him for. That's what we are looking for. PDP is the same as APC. There's no difference. Eh? Because it's the same crops of people that are in APC that were in PDP before. They are the people, the same set of people that are in PDP and uh, APC now. I said maybe we have new people coming in. Huh? But if, uh, if we have PDP and things were moving forward, eh, I think I would simply prefer the PDP. My name is Mrs. Nkem Emeka Kalu. For the 2019 election, I would still prefer good luck to come back. I have a reason why I say that. Because, one, when good luck was around, the country was so good. Everyone was enjoying the country. Everybody was benefiting. Whether from the corruption or not from the corruption, everybody was not benefiting. From the poor, from the rich, everybody. Because even me then, I was even selling markets, doing good luck stuff very, very well. And when you even go to someone and said you need money, that should borrow you money. Someone can borrow you money in good luck regime. But in this very region, nobody can borrow you money. Even in business, business doesn't flow, but in good luck period, I know the kind of business that I do. You can still vote for him to come back for the second region. Rari is sick. He travels a lot. He's not in this country to know what is happening with his people. So we want younger person that can stay in this country, that can fight for us. That can anything that is happening, they call him to come to this place, he can run. They call him to go to this place, he can go. They call him to go to anywhere. He can easily go to that place. And we don't need that old person that said to come and be president. Because any spot you see, Barry has traveled out. He traveled out for almost how many months now? For almost six months or what? 
So we didn't see him. We don't even know what is going on in this country. We don't even know what is even happening in this country. So to me, I would say we prefer a younger person than an older person. My name is uh, Mr. Frank Oga. But the present administration, I think, uh, I advise our, our, our father, our daddy to go after 2019, should go and rest. I think he has done a lot for us. And for the sake of his health, we really want to see him after 2019 alive. The country is too complex for him to manage. My brother, everybody knows there's hunger, there's hunger in the country. There's, there's hardship. Things are very difficult. Things are really difficult. Though the president, the present, the present uh, government are trying their best, but trust me, I think it's like we are having an anti-clock movement right now. We are having a backward uh, movement. Probably in 2019 things might be better, though they promised us that they will fix the country within their, within two years in the office, but now it's almost two years, next month, in the next two months it's two years and truly nothing has really been achieved in this government. I think PDP, wherever they had, they made their mistakes, I think we should give them a second chance to come back to 2019. And um, of course there are lots of candidates, lots of credible candidates in the PDP that can change this country, that can turn things around. For instance, how about Amadi Sheriff? He's not a bad candidate to rule this country. He's got everything to rule this country, right? Um, Sile Lamido is a great candidate, is, is a credible candidate to rule this country. The likes of, uh, I can go back, even Atiku Abubaka, I don't think he's done that bad. You know, Atiku can manage this country, he has been there, he's done the air before. I know he can do a lot for this country. And there are a lot of younger ones down to the east. In fact, like Obasi Obat just said the other time that the Igbo candidacy should come up. Why not? Are the Igbo's not part of this country? They should, they should give the opportunity to rule this country for 2019. I don't, I don't mind to have cared for any Igbo, uh, an Igbo candidate for 2019 because they are part of this country. They have been marginalized for a very long time. I'm not talking for them anyway. I'm not an Igbo man, but I think we should check it holistically. Uh, there's nothing wrong about a woman ruling this country, but uh, to be candid with you, um, the country is just too complex. I know I tried, I did a campaign for a woman for 2015 governorship election. It wasn't easy. We opened all whatever the effort we put in, it was not easy. So I don't think, uh, for now, I'm not saying they are not good enough, but for now, with what, the, what is going on in the country, they may not be able. In other few other countries, you have a very young, even, even go down to our neighboring country here, Gabon, we have, we have, we have, we have young men that, that took over at the age of 20 something, that is something that have been in the helm of our faith. Why not? Let's try a younger person this time around. I belong, I, I belong to that category, so I'll be happy to see a younger person to be a president of this country. So I think I, I, give, I give it to the PDP to 2019. I think I'll prefer, uh... I prefer a female to run for election um, because I feel um, women are uh, leaked more because when you come to the house, you know, they try to put things together and all that. So even when it comes to ruling, I know they can do very well. I think um, we need a younger people to run for the elections. Because I feel the younger ones are more, are more wiser, intelligent. Because so far, the old people are not doing anything good. As far as I'm, so, as, as far as I'm concerned, I've not seen anything good that is coming out of it. So they should give the younger ones the chance to try. Let's see how it will work out. I think um, it's not really coming. The money is low, you know. Even before, we eat very well, like three times a day. But now, if still want to cold. So, I, there's not, at this regime, I don't think anything good. I didn't see anything good in this regime at all. Hunger is killing us, you know. There is no job, there is no market, you know. So, I don't think I'm impressed at all. If I'm asked to pick any political party in this 2019, I'll choose PD. I will prefer a younger person to become a president this time around. 
like your girl is he or she like you. Like for instance, now all these people that have been reading, you know, most of them they have been like they have been advanced in age. Like their mentality has been getting low, but the younger person you want to see how they have a high sense of humor, you see how they like a high sense of pity. You can thank you of you and country very, very well. The last governor, they have, sorry, the last president that you from PDP, like he really tried a little bit. He really tried. So I think if they can do it again, it should be perfect. The kind of candidate I'm hoping for is that someone who has more capability to rule this country, like someone who is more president. And if I may say, I'm just that someone, a younger person, okay, like a younger person can rule this Nigeria. Someone that has like a sense of you know, a compassionate heart. When women they have a compassionate heart. Human has the power of changing a nation. Like human has the power of changing a country into whatever thing you feel like. A woman, if a woman if you should ask me, I'll say that a woman owning this country to be the best. Now my name is Wisdom. I'm from this market. I live in Gariki. But the problem what I have now to issue of my line of my place where I'm doing work now is this. Things are cost. And selling a, a plate of food now is 500 naira. For, for, in fact, for me to put it all is that I can say there is no money. A bag of rice is 20,000 naira. How can I cook? What of says the what of those who don't have? How can I cook to buy for my hand? I can cook no more market to sell because people don't have money. So what I'm saying is this now. If someone like Good Love can come back to country to be a president of Nigeria, I hope that all is going to be well. Because the, the, former, the former president we will have is a good president, which everybody was rejoicing, but who was crying somehow because of issue of Boko Haram. But as you can see, country now, people are weeping. People are crying because of hungry. Can somebody can cope without hungry? It's not possible now. Where you have money to eat, you can survive for any other things. So please, what I'm saying for Nigeria this time around, what I'm saying for Nigeria now is this. Please, if you can have a president, good law, uh, Buhari, can help us to help market people, like market association people, at least people under us can still benefit from us. Because that's what we, what, that's what we cook, that's what we supply for others. For women to come to issue a president issue, it's not possible. Because women to come out for pro, uh, 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 president, they cannot do anything. They rather would, they would be on that share and consume some more. <laughs> Women cannot be a challenge who they into politics. Because that chair, because that chair is a hot seat. It's a hot seat. Even men self feel the pain. Don't let a woman will be on that woman be, will be on that man. Can cannot face the challenge. They rather they will be in fact they will be a dead body into that chair. If a woman can seek into that chair, talk less of a woman can't come and stand inside that chair. That's another difficult challenge. Which, Niger which is Nigeria cannot bear it, which is country cannot bear it. They would rather cause more riot and fight into the country. Hungry people might finish the whole country. Like age, you know, we're good to be a presidency. Starting from 30 to 40 years is okay for presidency. But anybody will be hope 45 years is not good, 42 is not good. Because most of them, they are facing most of challenge and the thing is causing them heart attack. Uh, like, like seriously, like seriously, PDP is the best. I'm still proud to say it out. PDP is the best, and I still pray that the PDP still come back for the country. It will make country totally better. Oh, my name is Mary NMI from Kogi State. What are they see? The next president when we are won for this Nigeria now, will Lord Jonathan may come back to this our country. As now they see so. Eh? Is that possible because will Lord Jonathan the time when they one first no they cast. Two, kerosene no they cost. Four, my transport for my area now 15 naira. Now I don't want to have 15 naira again now. I'm going to see me see problem. And our president won't come again now. Now we This This life where we did now, this president won't get here. Now fire to fire. When you give her, oh, you give her your own heart. Because this president won't get now, now fire. Plus, I beg, if they go allow making condemn or another person who was before that time go reach, I go happy. Because now, bro, see, see, pop up now they chop for money tonight. Pop up now food. Secondly, eh, see, fuel, fuel does the high every day. Gary, where would they buy 150 a mudu now? Don't be how much? 350 naira. Rice now 600 naira mudu. Rice now 600 for mudu. See me. I be says girl, how much are they buy a plate of food? 500. So if I can claim 500, 
In a month, it's about 15,000. How much did I pay me? Eh? So, I beg. May then tell her, if he wants to, he may make this country better. But if he won't go, may only person come, come rule this country. Because this country, because, hmm, I know not I want to talk about this country again. No, may God help us for this country where we come. I beg. If God will allow us, make Gulo Jonathan come back to this our country, come rule us again. Because now the only place that we are know. May he come back to come help us for this life. What we did. See me at the girl. Before they pay sales girl to find how much they pay me 12,000 and I walk. We're not going to go school. See me see problem. We're not going to go school. Eh? See one. I know one may young person. Because he young person come back, come rule us for this country. Automatically corruption go day. Make other person call rules, but we no want other where we call rule our country to do corruption like the one what they see now. We need the one where we go get fear of God, where we go do us good. Now wait till we want now. May woman go rule this country once more. We see because woman now us born man, if not be us born man, now they you know understand. Make woman call rule this country, make everywhere they better. One woman go go take care of home. Two, wash our clothes, need everywhere. But if now men call rule this country, all in a corruption. If man won't give you 200 naira, I go say me sleep with you. But woman, he go fee give you, he will give you money. You understand? PDP should come back. We don't want APC because APC is corruption. There are corruption in Nigeria. Oh. For, for, if you don't reach 50 years, don't contest. Any president now will come to this country now. They will amend our constitution. How many times will they come? Like Someone like Saraki is a good leader. But Saraki has the case in the court of conduct. We will get, we'll get, we'll, we'll get your case. If you don't get case for him, where they live with your landlord, you get case for first way by your car. So, so case by case, everybody can get case at any time. Let's get new leaders first. If the team continue, then you you do not want to help with them. Let me let's see what will happen for Ghana. If they don't care what will happen for Ghana for this country for this country one day, I, I know go to school, but most of them are reports that they can't enter there. Who is the university they will go? You know they see the English. Some of them suffer. All these people are there for us. You know they see them. Some of them if they bring projects and the project they do. Some they sleep. They're gonna ask it. how much you are on? I had it. You know they see what did happen for a house as of yesterday. Basically, the cops said the uniform might not be wearing uniform. Control the of course, you know they wear uniform. Now for him be now for people who know they wear uniform. That's it for today's program. Don't forget to follow us on social media at the Osasu Show and at TOS TV Network on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. Visit our website, tostvnetwork.com, to read more news on sustainable development and current affairs across Africa. I'll see you same time, same place next week, and until then, take very good care of yourself. God bless you. We are in Accra, Ghana. We are in Nairobi, Kenya. We are at Adagbo community uh, in Agatu local government area of Benue State. I'm here with the Galadima of Gandoma, which is a predominantly Fulani community here in southern Kaduna. We are at the IDP camp in area 1, Abuja, Durumi. Your Royal Majesty, Elders. Executive Governor of Abia State, Okezi Ekbiazu. Senator George Akume. Governor Idris Boda. Honorable Minister of Health. Honorable Minister of Transportation. Senator Matthew Rohide. Honorable Dakuku Pizisai. Honorable Tony Wolu. Honorable Soda Bo. Festus Moni. The Osasu Show, Bridging the Gap.